What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Inferno here and I'm checking in once again with yet another tutorial. Yes sir. So in this tutorial we are going to redesign this artwork that was designed for Casimiro by Manchester United after they signed him. So without much ado, let's get into business. Okay, so we create a new document. So your Width and height should be like this. Your width 19, 20, and then your height 987 with resolution 72. Color profile should be on a, on sRGB. Okay, then click on create. Good. So you create a new layer by hitting Control Shift and then add the end. Then you name it BG. Okay, and then you press Enter. The hold Control Backspace to fill with the background color. Okay, so after creating the BG layer, it's time for you to import your images. Okay. So you bring in Casimiro, okay. So you bring in the first image. So this is our image one. So you plant it here. Then you press, you right click on it and then you convert it to a smart object. As I always do, press Ctrl T for a transform bounding box and then scale down. Okay. Good. So press Ctrl H to bring the, um, the various guys okay on board to see if you're doing we are doing the right thing okay and then drag out um the guys that i'm dragging out okay from the working area you are going to use this guide to um to make you as cautious with the image placement so that the images don't go too far okay because you are going to write something here okay good so this is customer so just positioning well control t and then you scale him up okay scale him up a little bit you position him here by using the arrow keys and then you add a gradient map okay so click on the adjustment options here and then click on gradient map so press ctrl or g to clip mask click on this okay click on this okay then make this black okay you click on this two then you make this white white good so you click on this dot here and then you push it right a bit here okay and then click on this and then push it a bit here okay push it good we like it this way good so click on the image one so Let's name it, double click and then name it uh, IMG down score one. And then add the layer max will so be for the brush to then go go in for the soft run brush. Hold alt and then right click to reduce the size of your right click and then drag to your left to reduce the size of your brush and then start applying okay we do the opacity okay and then so since we are applying black on white it is going to erase the portion of the images that is going to erase the portion of the image that we don't want okay good so you position the image again okay and then you press ctrl shift n to create a new layer and then you name it s um s is, s is means shadow okay B for the brush to click on your foreground to bring the color picker options and then drag to black. Okay. Alt and click and hold Alt and then right click and then drag in words to do the brush size and then apply. I just use by just left clicking. Okay. Apply. Okay. Just apply then we do the fill okay we do the fill good so time to bring the other images so let's close this ctrl w to close and then let's bring in this image okay good and then drag it to the very top Con press ctrl or g to unclip it 
right click and then convert it to a smart object ctrl t for transform bounding box and then click and then drag down left click and then drag in walls okay file holding alt if you are in, if you are using photoshop 2020 um one and then above good so we copy the gradient map by just clicking on it and then pressing ctrl c so ctrl v ctrl or g in the image then we double click on the image uh, the image layer text and then we name it what img down score 2 okay good so let's bring let's bring in the other images so we are left it so these two okay good so we bring in this image quickly okay convert it to a smart object ctrl t for the transform bounding box and then scale down okay double click name rename it to img down score 3 press ctrl t right click and then go to flip what horizontal to flip it this way and then this time don't hold alt and then just click on this on this um point here and then drag what inwards good press ctrl enter to do it with the transform bounding box and place it here press ctrl e to hide the guys ctrl c to copy the gradient map ctrl v to paste ctrl or g to clip mask okay good let's bring in this image okay That's going to be that for this image. So close it. Bring in the other image. Okay. Just this. You bring it here. You place. Okay. Convert it. To, convert it to a smart object. Control T. Scale downwards. Okay. And then. Throw it me a little bit. Let's bring in this image. Good. Oh. <laughs> Convert it to a smart object. Yes, as you always do. Control T. Scale down. Okay. Control T. Scale down. Okay good and then again with the gradient map control or g because it is already in our clipboard okay click on the main image control t make sure that you add the layers you add the layer of the shadow and then the gradient map the gradient map is not an issue but the shadow layer you have to add it because it is burning this this part of the image okay good then you bring it downwards so to um so we name it okay so name this prove to paste gradient map control g to clip mask okay good all right so let's work on the images so you, you add the layer mask to this image and then you erase this portion of the image okay then let's edit the gradient maps on the images a bit uh -huh. so let's so you click here then okay let's boost the whites okay because uh -huh. we need more white in it so you can save this can even save this and apply it to the rest okay so just go to new it's going to save you go to okay so you come on to this one okay and then you click on the gradient map you come here and then add this okay so it happens to be too much for this image so we just bring it in 
Okay. So let's click on this image. Let's click on the gradient map and then it control shift to create a new layer and then we name it what? SH um SH down score two so shadow two. Okay, B for the brush to increase the opacity a bit and then apply. Okay. Press V for the move to control T to bring the transform bound in box and then hold shift and then distort the ellip the elliptical um black. That has been that has been applied the help of the brush too. Okay, good. Then the scaling was okay. Scaling was good. And then that is for that image. Um, let's bring in the ultra for the image. Okay, good. So create a new layer. Control Shift N and then just enter. The naming of that image does not that layer does not matter. Okay. Good, because it is going to be an empty layer we just using it we are just using it as a means to an end okay so you drag in the ultra force stadium okay then click and drag it here to to this work workspace and then good um convert it to a smart object good so um you click on the stadium image and then we paste so that is we paste the gradient map on it control or g okay now click here for the gradient map option and then click on this one to then push it here push this one to inwards by using those arrows and then drag here so okay so we are just adjusting so click on this and then instead of white click on the color here and then take it downwards okay to make it to do the highlight okay in the image we want to attain that dark feel okay and go to okay you bring this one inwards too okay good so add the layer must be for the brush to then apply Because time is not on our side. <laughs> so add a new layer, control shift N, then name it shadow down score 3. B for the brush to reduce the opacity a little bit, then apply. Okay. Good. Good. Click on this image, then push it here. Okay, click on this image, push it here. Okay. Good. Drag over them put them downwards okay good so we are left with let's close this and then let's bring in another stadium so we are going to bring in this okay good good so just click on this okay make sure that you are on the ultra four stadiums layer okay and then create a new layer on top okay don't name just create a new layer and then press enter and then drag and drop the stadium image on it okay press ctrl t transform it okay you need those lights over there okay good paste the gradient map and then press ctrl og to clip max add the layer max to um this image just convert it to smart object and when you're done add the layer max before the brush to and then erase the unwanted pass okay increase the opacity and do with the unwanted pass okay good the radius place to good okay increase the image downwards okay good and then so close this um add a new layer here then bring in this image too okay bring in this image 
and then drag and drop it here convert it to a smart object control v to paste gradient map control og to clip mask and then press control t and then bring it here okay add the layer max b for the price to that we don't want it pass okay Sorry for the noise in the background. Okay, so click on this stadium's um, image. Click on the, st the first stadium's image and then press Ctrl T. Right click and then go to what work. Okay. So before we do that, okay, um, rush try it. Okay. Rush try it. Okay. And then press Ctrl T. Then right, uh, go to right click and then go to work. work. Okay, and then warp it a little bit. Okay, warp it a little bit. Let it curve. Let it appear to be to be a curve. Okay, good. And then good. So let's add. Let's define our images a little bit with shadows. Okay, because like shadows is wearing white, it's making the work too flat. Okay, so let's bring in more dark. Uh, more darks. Okay. To save us our shadows for the various images, so press Ctrl Shift and create a new layer. B for the brush too, and then reduce the opacity. Okay, and apply. Okay, so apply them at areas where there are shadows. Okay, and areas that that don't have shadows. Okay. To, to create a new layer on top okay uh -huh. so that you can vary the the intensity of the shadows okay and then apply so i suggest that you create new layers for the shadows when we are when we are working okay so that so that you can vary okay you can vary you can vary the intensity of the shadows with with what the opacity what slider or the opacity word property good so let's come to this image control shift and to create another layer B for the brush to and then apply the shadows to okay So you see the difference here, huh? So you see the 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 image when it wasn't bent as compared to the image. Okay, when it was bent. Okay, so you have this vast difference going on there. So it is very cool whenever um whenever you do that, okay. Uh, so always Add the layer marks and then do away with the excesses. Okay.
then apply okay okay apply press v move to control t for the transform then hold shift and then distort okay we push it there shift and then dragging and then left click and then dragging was shift left click and then drag to your right okay outwards so zoom in control plus okay zoom in control plus again press control t and then distort hold shift and then distort control enter to drive with the transform bounding box push upwards so let's click on this image okay control shift a to option come to the camera roll um filter options and then you bring down the the highlight okay a little bit okay and then boost the whites okay a little bit then increase the clarity okay and go to okay good so that is it for this one and then just think to go to the very top and then control shift and add a new layer on top t for the test to okay and then you type kasi miru you sample colors from you so just click on this one click on your foreground and then color pick option and then click on your preferred color so in, our, in this case it's going to be this yellow okay good and then press ctrl enter we are going to use the form we are going to use for this is morganite morganite okay we are going to use morganite um bold okay okay good so this this is the main work okay this is the main work here press ctrl t okay so first duplicate ctrl g to get a copy and then or backup and then hide it by clicking on this eye icon to hide it okay press ctrl t sorry right click and then go to us convert to um smart shape convert to shape sorry and press ctrl t press ctrl enter okay p for the pen to okay hold ctrl and then hold con uh, ctrl and then click on one of the points here hold ctrl r shift okay and then drag okay good drag on and then release to select both points okay and then push up with the help of the arrow keys so you can add shift when you add shift you're going to push it upwards faster okay hold control and then click on one to select only one then push downwards okay do same for this control and click okay good hold shift and then drag on both points to select all of them and then push up press and hold control and then click on this point add shift to control and then select both and then push up okay push down to i think this is okay and let's get to this one so click control okay press control and click on one hold r shift and then red drag on both and then push okay r shift and then good and push it so you forgot to add one press control r shift and then drag so you press control r shift and then drag over this one to, to select both to select all those three points then push them r shift okay good you mean to see if i think we're doing the right thing control and then click on this point add shift select both and push them here okay good control click add shift to control and then select both drag over to select both and then push yeah holding shift control click on this to select only this add shift to control and then drag over
on this letter S. Okay, release the control and then what? Press here to add a point. Okay, good. Please don't add any key because when you add the key, you are not going to get the plus point. Okay, so just push it upwards. I'm not going to get the plus um plus icon to the pen to when you are when you hold any key. Okay, good. So after you've added the point, just push upwards. Hold Alt and then click on this point. Good. Okay. Bring the cursor here. Okay. Bring the cursor here. Um, zoom in. I'm pressing Control Plus. Okay. And then add the point here. Okay. Add the point here by clicking. Okay. You just click. Then add another point to here. Click. Okay. By just clicking. Okay. So hold control and then um, click on that point. Add shift today. Just don't add shift. Just push. Use the arrow keys to push. Good. Good. Hold alt. Click here. Understand? So this is what we are intending. We want to achieve. Okay. Uh -huh. So you push. You click on hold control and then click on this point to push it upwards. Okay. And then control and then click on this point too as well push it out a little bit okay a little bit and then hold alt and then click to make um to make um the curve to make the slope a sharper slope instead of a curved slope okay good control click here and then position good let's get to the e so just hold control and then click on the word okay uh, control click on this hold shift then drag over this one to select both hold shift and then push them okay p for the pen too okay so you click on the s to okay and then um control click control what click okay i shift to control and then drag over to select both of these things then push them upwards okay push them upwards good control click on this one then push it upwards okay upwards okay drag it here right click and then add it um, convert it to a smart object ctrl t for the transform bounding box then scale scale downwards okay Double click on the layer. Okay, go to color valley, change the color to yellow. Okay, then go to OK. Good. So, um, you name it logo. Okay, good. Then BEM window. Okay, type BEM window. Window okay, control E to select everything, and then we are going to be using source sans okay, source sans bold okay, type 12 to make the font size small, V for the move to control T, then scale up okay, scale up, control enter to drive the transform bounding box, and then place it here okay. Click on it, press Ctrl Enter and then change the color to white. 
to control T then scale it up a little bit okay good and then you press control shift and to create a new layer on top you for the for the rectangle too and then just make these small things under the work under the, under the name okay just these small rectangles okay V for the move to and then position okay use the arrow keys so we are going to create this okay good so first convert it to a smart object because if you don't convert it to a smart object what you are going to do with what you are going to do with these things you are going to struggle okay you press ctrl t right click and then go to what skill okay and then when you after you've clicked on on this middle point r shift okay so that it doesn't distort in any way so you first click and sorry you first click and then drag to skill and then you, you hold shift to constrain it okay constrain it to constrain it on that or at the very what um direction okay so you will like it this way control enter you do have the transform button was control what j to duplicate and position okay control t to transform then scale down okay click on the main one control t and then so we are left with what colors okay so yellow sky blue and then white so yellow so this one is going to be sky blue okay sky blue but the, the sky blue is going to be more um lighter than what we have currently okay as a as a background then color value change it to white um, i always like to add a texture layer okay good so i'll drag in but first i will take a screenshot of the whole way control shift alt e and then go to filter um noise and then add a little bit of noise okay so this noise has to be subtle it shouldn't be pronounced okay uh -huh. and then make sure that you take monochromatic so add this noise add sorry add the texture on top or place the texture on top change the blending mode to screen okay add the layer max add the layer max okay add the layer max and then be for the bribes to do it with unwanted parts the unwanted what um the unwanted placement of textures the textures that have been placed in places that you don't prefer okay just do away with them okay so do mind this way so the t-shirt it has to be subtle okay good i think we are done with the work okay good so that is it for this tutorial so thank you for having time making time and then checking this tutorial out and then please and please again don't forget to like comment share and then more importantly to subscribe to the channel for more creative content thank you very much shalom peace